Good morning and welcome to Wednesday Science Time. Today we're talking about how animals move. So we've been working kind of all week on creating an animal and the way different animals have coverings and all sorts of things. So now we're going to talk about how they move. All animals move, right? We as humans move. We move our hands, we move our feet, we move our head. If we need to get somewhere fast, we run. If we don't need to get somewhere fast, we can walk. We move in different ways. We can jump, hop, skip. How do animals move? So think about a dog or a cat. They can run. They can slink down real low and sneak up on something. You see that with cats all the time. How about a horse? They can walk, gallop, and run. They can move up sometimes and then come back down. Um, so there's all sorts of ways that different animals move. How about a fish? How does a fish move? Right? Some have multiple fins, some maybe only have one. Sharks have a straight fin where maybe an angelfish is a little bit more flowing. So different body parts move differently. How does an animal move? So in your science journals, right? So grab your science journal. Whoops. Science journals. And then you're going to turn to the page, how animals move. So there's directions up there for you. It's You can either pick an animal at home or your favorite animal, or you can think back to the few pages you did before about the animal you created and how does that animal that you created move. So there's different ways you can do this page. Make sure you write what your animal is. So if it's um, an animal from your home, write what that is. If it's just your favorite animal, write that. Or if it's the animal you created, look back and see what you called your animal and write its name down there, all right? Hopefully most of you do the animal that you guys created so you can think more about how that animal is because we did the, we did how it would live at the zoo, we did all those different things, its habitats. Now think about how it moves, okay? How does it get its food? Does it have to fly to get its food? Does it have to jump like the bear was trying to do? How does it get its food? So. When it moves, does it slide up a tree to get food if the food's in the tree? Does it jump like the bear? Does it swim? How does it move to get its food? How does it protect itself? Okay, so all animals have to protect itself at some point. How does it protect itself? Other features that will help this animal, okay? So how does it, what does it need to be able to do to survive? Does it sleep during the winter so it needs to be able to curl up? Uh, turtles to protect themselves will pull themselves into a shell. So think about all the different ways that it needs to get its food, how it protects itself, what does it do in its environment, you know, how does it react when maybe a people come across. Think about when we did it in its zoo. You know, is your zoo set up in a way that this animal would stay out and about when people came through? How does it move, all right? So I want you to draw that, make notes, kindergarten, you can go ahead and write some words in here too. You don't have to just have a picture. Pre-K, I want you to try really hard and make sure you, I don't want to see scribbles across. I want you to just draw your animal and tell me how it moves, okay? Really important, we're getting very intentional about our drawings now, all right? So have fun with it. Maybe you need to look at some books before you do it. So these are some really good books. My recommendation today is The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. This is my recommendation for this week. And there's also other books. Um, National Geographic has a whole bunch. A Wolf's World, Animals in Australia, and then of course, my favorite, Guess the Animal. All right, so maybe get some animal books before you decide how you want to do your animal moving. All right, have fun everybody. I will see you in science next time. Don't forget to hit, hit like, subscribe, and the notification button so you know when our next science is coming out. Bye everybody.